In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your screen, your computer screen, and I'll focus it on a Mac because some of the softwares do work on Mac and PC, but not all. So I'll make the following video on recording screen on a PC Windows. This is going to be focused on a Mac. And this works on every single Mac, so it doesn't matter if you have an iMac like here or a laptop. Let's start with all the free options. I only have one paid option here in this list, but it's very powerful, so I'll show you that at the end. The easiest one, and the one that just comes on your Mac, is called QuickTime. So if you look up QuickTime, and if you open it up, this is all you have to do to record your screen. You just go to File here, and then you do Screen Recording. And then you see these dashed lines around your screen. That's the portion of the screen that's being recorded. And that's this option, record entire screen or selected portion. So this is your entire screen, this is selected portion. You could choose whichever one you want. Click on options here, and it's gonna save to a QuickTime player, but you could just go ahead and save it to your desktop. That's what I like to do typically here. And then I usually have a five second timer, so when I press record, I have a little bit of time. And I always change this from built-in microphone to an external microphone and I recommend Shure MV7, my favorite microphone right now. I'll put this in the link below. It just has far better sound quality than your built-in microphone. You could also use cheaper options too. I'll put a couple of different options in the link below. And then you just go ahead and press record, and then it's gonna give you that five second timer, and then it's gonna start recording your screen. So whatever you do on your screen is being recorded. Right? So if you open up any files, like if I just open this up, for example, all this action is going to be recorded. When I'm done, there's a little stop sign right on top. If I press that, just like this, it's going to save this to my desktop. It should appear right over here in a second. There it is. This is the screen recording. I could press space bar and I could preview that and whatever I said also got recorded with it. And what's great about this QuickTime option, let me just press Command I to show you the settings. It actually gets recorded on whatever dimension your screen resolution is. So this is actually far better than HD quality here because I'm on a 5K screen and I have my resolution set to this right here. So that's what it recorded. Now I don't use this option personally anymore just because it's a little bit limited. All I showed you on using it is all you can do. So let me show you a little bit more of an advanced option here. This is called OBS, and this is a free application. I'll put a link to this one, but you do have to download this. And with this, all you have to do is over here under sources, you basically press plus to add a source. So I added a source. Let me just go ahead and right click to show you. Add, and then you would add a display capture and then this would be your computer screen. You would just type computer screen here, press OK. And these are the settings that you have, right? So you basically leave everything on default, show cursor is on, press OK. And this becomes your computer screen. And then you basically just want to stretch this out to fit the screen. OK, so that's it. I just press start recording here and it will start recording. But with this, you do also have some options. So let me go to settings just to show you some of the more advanced options here. You have audio. Again, I always recommend for audio that you do change this to actually a little bit more of an advanced setup. So I do change my mic to the same Shure MV7 that I have plugged in. And under video, you could actually set your resolution here. So I'm recording in 4K because I have a 5K screen, but you do have other options like 1080 HD here as well. And you could change your output under the output to simple, this works just fine, and the recording path. So then it will just drop on your desktop when it's done. And these are my settings if you want to follow along. This also lets you stream online. So this is really, really powerful besides what I'm showing you. But if I just press start recording, it's recording my screen right now. So again, whatever I do, if I open anything or if I just preview anything, it's going to record all that. And then I could go back to OBS here. Let me go back. It's also up here, a little icon, but I'm just pressing Command Tab to change between apps. And I'll press Stop. I'll go ahead and minimize this. And there is the recording right over here this time, right? So if I press Spacebar, that's the recording. You do have to edit the beginning part out because it does record the OBS window as well. But that's basically what you get. And if I press Command I, you could see it recorded this one in 4K resolution because of my screen quality. Now, personally, I use OBS all the time because I could record my phone. If I connect my phone, you could see my phone. You could record 
other camera inputs. It could do a lot of stuff besides what I showed you. So a lot more advanced than QuickTime. The third option is one of my favorites because it just takes place in the browser. You don't have to download anything. Let me show you that. I'll put a link here, it's uh, Vimeo, but with Vimeo, if you just go over here, new video, there is a record screen option. Okay, if you click this right here, it allows you to add a Chrome extension. Okay, and once that's available, it will show up over here. And with that, just press this icon here and it lets you record your entire screen, camera, or both. So again, I do change this to be my external microphone for better sound quality. And I could turn on my webcam, for example, or if I have other connected cameras, press start recording, and then I could record my screen specific window or just a Chrome tab, just like this, press share, and it's gonna start recording it after a countdown. Anytime I could stop on the bottom here. And then this one actually puts the new recording online. So I could actually share it with other people just from Vimeo. Vimeo is a video hosting platform. So very, very cool, very easy to use. You just create a free account. This is also a free option. You could also do this with Zoom. So let me show you how Zoom works. You just press Zoom's new meeting option right here. If you don't have Zoom, you could just download it from zoom.us on Mac or PC. Now with Zoom, all I have to do is share my screen. So first I need to share my screen. Let's say I just wanna share the entire desktop. I'll press share. Then I do need to record this screen at the same time. So I'm gonna press these three dots up here and press record. This meeting is being recorded. Now this meeting is being recorded, right? So everything that I'm gonna show on this screen is gonna get recorded like opening windows. When I'm done, I'll press stop. And now it's actually gonna go to my Zoom folder under my Documents tab. So I need to open this up, look under Zoom, and it says today, and it's converting right now. So this takes a little bit of time, and you are limited because you can't control the quality of the recording, but it's a free option that I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna end this meeting. And you don't have to have a meeting with anybody. Here's the Zoom recording actually right here. You can see it's not as good of a quality as the other options that I've shown you. And finally, I wanna show you a paid option because it's extremely powerful. These all let you record different screens, but they don't have all the powerful features of this other app called ScreenFlow. So I'll put a link to ScreenFlow below, but let me show you what it could do and I'll make a full tutorial on it too if you wanna watch that. So when you open up ScreenFlow, it says record desktop from, again, my iMac. So it put that, you see that red border. It's gonna record that. I could also use my iPad or iPhone, record those from here, and any camera, including my built-in camera here. Again, audio, I always change this too, to a external mic. Again, I have all these mics again in the description too, if you wanna just browse those around on Amazon. This one lets you record your computer audio, which is pretty difficult with the other options. For OBS, for example, it's a huge workaround, very confusing. So let me just go ahead and press record. And this basically is gonna give you a countdown like everything else, but what is powerful about it is what happens after the fact, okay? So you see this little icon on top. Let me go ahead and stop the recording to show you what happens when you stop the recording. This super powerful editor pops up after you're recording and you have ton of options for this, okay? So you could edit your entire video here. Everything is here for you to edit. You could actually go ahead and click bunch of options like it has this option for call outs if you activate this so you'll show your mouse cursor you have options to edit that in the future so all these are available so let me see if i could actually turn that on to show you so i could turn on that and you see the call out option here i could change the opacity on the cursor or on the video itself you could see you could change your pointer size your zoom size after the fact you could easily scale and edit your video here so this is a full blown video editor. You don't have to use another video editor. You could add text and annotations here. You could add your music here. All that built in to this software called ScreenFlow, the most powerful screen capture software when it comes to a Mac. I don't believe this one works for a PC though. So in the PC video, I'll show you Camtasia that also works on Mac and PC.